like to see that. And there you see how they match up on paper to make the conversions for you. That was five foot nine, five foot nine, 28 years old for Magomedov, 22 years old for Isakov. Yeah, six year age difference. That, that, that's probably the biggest factor to me. You got one guy just barely hitting his prime and one guy still young in it. Interestingly, the young guy has more fights. Uh, Isakov has seven fights, five and two. As Magomedov has four at three and one. Wow. Yeah, yeah. you didn't expect that too much, but we'll see how it plays out. So the cage door getting locked here in Kazakhstan. Eagle FC 50. This fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the welterweight division. Here we go. Isakov in the red on the left-hand side of your screen with the red gloves, red-trimmed gloves, black shorts, and Magomedov with the blue-trimmed gloves, black shorts. Isakov trying to walk down Magomedov. Magomedov finally holds his ground. Both fighters to the center of the cage. You want to get your back at the center, right? Try to be the matador. Yep, absolutely. Good kicks from Isakov early, though. He's really probing with that front kick, almost using it like a jab. Setting that distance with it and trying to land power with the back leg. The feeling out stage early on in the first round, usually the first 30 seconds. Or if you have a dog fight, and I mean dog in a bad way, 15 minutes of feeling each other out. It has happened. I don't think so with the, with this matchup. It just looks like he's got um, Magnikov really thinking in there. Combination, but he hadn't quite closed the distance. But you can tell Isakov is trying to set up that right hand. And he's also trying to set up, as you say, in that power kick with the measuring kick. Oh! oh. And there it is. Too. Yep. Oh. Caught Magomedov. Magomedov now nice holding knee. on. It's hard to see if his knee was down when he landed that knee to the hit. That, that's such a great area these days. Yeah, it is, what, isn't it? Was the knee coming up it? or was it? Yep, I know. Yeah, you almost get to have. The slow motion replay these days. Yeah, it was it was kind of in action, so I think the ref, the ref kind of lets it go there, but very hard to know whether you can or cannot knee a guy when he's down these days. It's almost like the judging. There's so much subjectivity and so much of a difference varying between states and countries. Yeah, it's almost either. like yeah, you go to the fighters' rules meeting and really just at, you got to ask the ref how are you going to call it, right? Yep. And these early fights is going to set the precedent for later too. But Isakov, right where you want to be. Yeah, another similar fight as to our opener. Isakov able to implement his game plan and impose his will over Shamizgan Magomedov. Yeah, Magomedov just trying to tie him up, trying to prevent him from, from posturing and really landing any power. And and occasionally throwing up a submission attempt just to keep him honest. But mostly just try, trying to, to break that posture and not letting any damage get off. Isakov doing a great job with his pressure, though. Yeah, it's almost like Magomedov's looking for a stand-up. Because you're not seeing really too much offense off his back, like you say, other than just kind of surviving and just keeping Magomedo from posturing up. But that ain't going to win the fight. But that's easy for me to say from where I am. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have Beksat Isakov on top of me. <laughs> I, yeah, because, yeah, I mean, he's he's pressuring. Yeah. Pressuring hard. Oh, for the arm. Oh, triangle now. Now a little bit of a, a window for Magomedov. 
It's a great job, but izakov has got great posture here. See how he's sitting all the way back. It's going to be hard for Magomedov to really break that posture. And Izakov looking for a pass now, looking to pass the legs if I was him. Yeah, it looked like Magomedov's hands were inside the glove of Izakov. I think that's what he was warned about. Yeah, if, if I'm Izakov, I'm, I'm passing these legs here. I mean, Magomedov showing that he's dangerous off his back. Yep. Throwing up submission attempts. And it only takes one second to get caught in a position that you 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 thought you were good, and all of a sudden you're getting choked. And back to the feet go the welterweights. Great job by Ma Magomedov. Ten seconds to go in the opener here. This welterweight matchup, Shamans Khan, Magomedov, Beksad, Isakov. Oh, oh, swinging him. Big punch. Did he catch him? I yeah, think it looks right behind the, the ear. He did, like. okay. I couldn't tell if Isakov was ducking or if he got clipped. It looked like it landed right behind the ear and kind of tossed him off balance a little bit. We have to see it again in a replay. But to me, it looked like that punch landed. Yeah, his corner came right over and put an ice pack right there. So I'm wondering if that, yeah, that behind the ear. Because it almost looked like it was too fast for Isakov to be ducking. Like it was, yeah. his body was moving faster than ducking. Yeah, Isakov's got to shake that off and get ready to start this new round. But a great way for Magomedov to end the round. I don't think it's enough to steal it, but I think it's a good look for the judges. It's a good way to get out, and it's also give Isakov something to think about in between rounds. Yeah, Our, it, it feels like the momentum has swung back in, in Magnikov's corner to, after that punch. It's a yeah. big punch. Let's see. I don't know if I'll have a chance to take a look at that. But you're in Magomedov's corner. You're in the blue corner. What are you telling your fighter? Keep the distance and, and box with him. Box with him. It seems like his hands are, are a little bit sharper. And he's able to get to the target a little bit quicker. So I'm definitely keeping this fight on the, on the feet and box. You don't want to stay in that kicking range where Izakov had a lot of success early in the round. And then on top he, he's, he's a lot to pressure so keep it right in this boxing range right here Beksat Isakov in the red on the left hand <coughs> excuse me that one snuck up on me uh, a nice pressure by Magomedov yeah he's going for the takedown maybe to show him that I can wrestle too oh, beautiful frame it neither You know, this seems a, a bit of a mistake if I'm Magomedov. And right as I say that, he, he takes his back <laughs> and throws a hook in. What the hell do I know? <laughs> ah, change in the complexion of this fight, though. A total momentum change after that clip. You got to wonder if Isakov was affected, not just physically, but maybe a little bit mentally by getting caught like that. Still trying to shake the cobwebs. Because, he, he, you know, he didn't have the same kind of pressure as he did, you know, the first four minutes and 30 seconds of the first round. Yeah. Yeah, that punch might have put some doubt in his head. And after a, a round could go so good for you, everything's going right. great. And then you get clipped at the end. It, it almost brings you back down to humanity again. And that's the fight game, isn't it, where you can have – four rounds and the fifth round is four minutes and 40 seconds good yeah, yeah. and then one second but it looks like Isakov's almost had, almost had his arm under the chin there I mean this is one of those positions you, you got to be focused one one lapse in judgment and, and the fight's over he'll slip that arm underneath the chin and you're going to sleep those elbows are trying to soften I love the elbows from there. He's cough up. Yeah, that's one of your real specialties. Love the elbows from there. <laughs> and it's just such a good weapon. You're not going to break your hand. You're not. You're going to yeah. do a lot more damage. Nothing's going to hurt except for their head. And you can find all these different sneaky angles that Magnikov is looking for. Trying to hit the side of the head. Trying to hit the ear with the elbows. 
just trying to get Isakov to make a mistake. Keep peppering that head, trying to get him to make a mistake. Give oh, the there opening. it is. There it is. Oh, wow. There it is. He got Good him. Tap. He got him. Beautiful tap out there. Shamitz Khan Magomedov, after giving away the first round, taps out Bezkot Isakov. Bexot had a great first round, but after he got clipped right at the end, he just didn't seem to be the same guy. Yeah, great comeback. Great comeback by, by Magomedov. You know, once the momentum swung in his favor, he never let it go back. So pulling a rabbit out of the hat is Shaman Khan Magomedov. Shaman Khan moves to four and one. And Bexat Isakov will drop to five and three. He'll have to go back to the drawing board. I know he's not going to be happy with this. You can see the disappointment in his face. Shemitz Khan Magomedov, beautiful win. You're never out of it, and that, you know, what a perfect way to demonstrate. Keep your head in the game, keep trying, keep plugging.